this video I wanted to give a quick visual on the Steinberg UR-44 audio interface and the built-in effects in the unit that you can use for real-time monitoring with zero latency or you can use the effects in your DAW of choice on mixdown or playback and let's just start out first with the reverb you can see that uh, this is the control area for the reverb and I click on the little E brings up the user interface and we have three different types of reverb we have a hall a room and then the plate and let me I'm um, coming into channel one here you can see my signal and the blue knobs here are the sins let me click up a little bit here and now you can hear that the hall effect is come into play here's the room sound and then the plate and like I say you can adjust all these however you want you can adjust them here or on the user interface if I wanted to increase the time initial decay or initial delay excuse me and let me back that off and like I say that can be used in real time for your singer when you're tracking live and you can have some effects now these effects are not printed when you're recording let me show you the channel strip that they have also this button here will activate the effect as you're gonna see and again the little E brings up the user interface and here we have an equalizer section and we also have a compressor again this is just like the reverb to where you would use these for monitoring in real time or it mixed down our playback then you can pull up these effects as plugins in your DAW and basically that's pretty typical here you can uh, you can see I'm bringing up I'm getting a little feedback there but uh, mess with the EQ and a couple other things here like the drive and really alter the sound quite a bit as you can see and you can change the attack time release ratio and everything on your compressor so it would be good you could put a high ratio on and use it as a limiter you can see I'm getting a 40 to 1 there compression so that almost acts like a limiter you have different slope attacks on the knee you have a soft and a medium and a hard but that's basically what I want to show you. Let me close these back out again here. And then one other feature I wanted to show was the different, we're on the slider section or the main mixer view menu here. And then if I switch to this, I can change my input sources. Now this is one important one. This is a loop back. So this way I can have my system audio come back through the card again and that way I can record it in my in my uh, screen capture and that's all I really wanted to show you on this this is a great little unit it's very quiet not a heck of a lot of gain I'm, I'm kind of boosting the signal before I'm going into the unit with a inexpensive pre but you can hear that it's fairly clean and that's the Steinberg UR44 lists for around $300.